If y'all got a few minutes, I'd like to tell you all a story. This story involves Hollywood, the Illuminati, and Lil Wayne. See, many of you may know this popular musician for his many groundbreaking accomplishments in the music community. Or maybe it's his larger-than-life rock star persona. Or, hell, let's keep it real. If you're under 25, you probably know him as the nigga that dressed like a damn fool during his halftime performance at the championship game. Regardless of how you may know him, I'm about to blow your mind with this clas classified information. See, before Dwayne Carter was known as rapper icon Lil Wayne, he went by another title. That title was Whoopi Goldberg. Yes, Whoopi damn Goldberg. The actress, comedian, I wouldn't lie to you. See, at the height of her career in the late 80s and early 90s, Whoopi was a box office smash. Her biggest claim to fame being her role as Celie from the popular black movie, The Color Purple. Now, if you're black and you're watching my video and you don't know about the movie The Color Purple, don't watch my videos no damn mo. Anyway, at the height of her success, she was making money hand over fist. Hollywood loved to cast her in the ugly ass black witty comedic role. But then something changed all of a sudden. Being the ugly ass girl version of Flavor Flav with dreads wasn't in anymore. Whoopi was now addicted to her fame and status. She was desperate to hold on to her star status in Hollywood. Whoopi did as many of the stars in Hollywood do today. Whoopi made a deal with the Illuminati. They arranged for her to travel to New Orleans to see a voodoo queen there by the name of Brian Baby Williams, who was in town to sleep with his boyfriend, light-skinned Tony. Whoopi did indeed meet with Baby, and Baby laid out the plan to convert Whoopi from a rough man-looking ugly-ass woman to a rough alien-looking ugly-ass man named Lil Wayne. Though Whoopi was reluctant, she only had one request, that she get to keep her dreads. Baby replied, Okay, bitch, but we gonna have to tat you up like a subway in Harlem. It's baby, bitch. <laughs>